just wanted to check in on how your head, neck, all that's still and what happened there. I'm great. Good. good <laughs> what happened? I got hit. Part of basketball. Sounds good. Thank you. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Well, that is what I wanted. I wanted to check on your health and what. I mean, was that a was that a neck or was a shot to the head or? No, I just got I got hit in the in the in the, in the jaw. My neck kind of twitched. I'll be alright though. It's uh, it's nothing. Get some treatment on it. Get some rest and be ready to go next game. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, uh, in the fourth quarter, you guys opened up from five point lead to eleven point lead, but then they they cut it to one. What was it? What is it that makes that such a hard team uh, to shake off? They just play with a lot of pace. You know, they got two guards that push the ball at a high level. Um, that you know put pressure on that rim, and uh, some of their guys are knocking down shots. You know, so. Um, you know, we just didn't do a really good job or a great job at, at loading up and getting back in transition. Um, but then again, they only had 23 points in that fourth quarter, so it was pretty solid. It was it was mostly that first five minutes of the game when we gave up 20 points. You know, after that, I think we held them to 86 or something like that. So it's pretty solid uh, for the rest of the game. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, James, uh, two-parter for you. Just what did you see out of Blake tonight, and, and kind of how do you go about learning a, a new guy on the team like that given the condensed season, no practice time, et cetera? Um, first game, I mean, he looked comfortable. You know, we uh, we try to get him shots and try to get him in, involved. Um, but, you know, Blake is going to be going to be very key for us just because he's versatile. Um, he creates mismatch problems. And he's a very, very, you know, good passer. You know, so once we actually find sets and that it can incorporate him, that he can look for consistently and he can be prepared for, um, you know, we'll be that much better. But I think for his first game, just learning on the fly, you know, without really any practice time, he did a good job. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, James, can you talk about what you've seen from Nick just over the weeks and over the days and just how you've seen his impact grow over these last few games? He's comfortable. He's comfortable and confident. You know, when you're a young guy, you know, don't don't doesn't worry about anything but playing hard and um, doing his job to the best of his ability, good things happen for him. And that's what we're seeing out of Nick. Um, he, he listens. He goes out there and watches film. And he, do, he goes out there and does his job every single night. You know, obviously, we all make mistakes. We all mess up. But his intentions are great. And more than not, good things are hap- going to happen for you. Um, as far as communication, um, you know, try to help him get in his right spots and, and you know, teach him different things that it can be, it make the game a lot easier for him. Um, I think any young guy, though, just I think the game is so fast for them. Once they, you know, settle into a game in the season in a role and they get more comfortable, you know, the pace slows down and they're able to be more effective.